Well, good Cyber Monday morning. Hope y'all are doing well, and I hope y'all are making some money or making some savings, getting some savings, something like that. Not quite awake yet. I am heading to the cotton patch to pick up my first order of the day, and it is for ten dollars and one penny. Going to Cotton Patch. I think I said that. Hey, I'm going to the Cotton Patch. In case you didn't know, I'm going to the Cotton Patch. <laughs> I think we got that clear now. And I'm hoping this is going to be a good Cyber Monday. So if y'all want to uh, follow along, hang out, stick around. All right, let's go in here and get this. Apparently, Skipcard is starting to pick up for other restaurants. Even for them. <laughs> they didn't know about it. So, either this is brand new for Cyber Monday, or... He, it's new, but he just hadn't had any himself. I don't know. I think he's the manager, though, so you would think he would know. Either way, I'm happy. $10 is a good start. Can't argue with that. We are going 3.8 miles. Miles is a little high, but, you know, in towns like this, everything's kind of spread out. So, three or four miles is really not much. When you start talking seven or eight miles, then you're talking all the way across town. I was a little surprised. I had put a poll up on the community tab on the Dash and Grandpa main page uh, having to do with Thanksgiving meals. You know, I put uh, turkey, ham, pizza, lasagna, enchiladas I believe that's what it was but I was actually surprised that 65% uh, of those who voted stuck with turkey so the traditional meal is still alive I really figured ham would be higher up there I, I personally prefer ham uh, you could throw some ham on some pizza in that and I like pizza, but I like ham too. I'm not a big turkey fan. I don't know, maybe that has something to do with me, my upbringing. You know, we ate chicken all the time growing up. My grandparents raised chickens, so back in the day, you know, that's, you pretty much ate what you raised, or, you know, if you lived out in the country, anyhow. But, uh, yeah. Turkey's too much like chicken to me. And and a lot of times the turkeys come out a little bit dry. Some people can really cook them good. And the fried turkey, now that's a, that's pretty good. I, I gotta admit on that one. But uh majority rules. Traditional meals are still traditional and the favorites. Apparently they have a uh, surge going because it's a dollar seventy for the delivery. The tips was four dollars, but then the uh, bonuses four dollars and fifty cents. But that wasn't the only bonus. They got a tip. I don't know how much it was. One, two, three, four bucks. So that ten dollar is ten dollar and twenty cent order. I'm thinking it's ten oh one. So that turned out to be a $14.20 delivery for three point, what did I say, 3.8 miles? Can't beat that with a stick. Well, I guess you could. No, you couldn't, because it's physically not there. I'm gonna turn Spark on and see what we got going at the Walmarts today. 
Oh boy, here we go with Spark. Nothing's popped up yet. That was just going online. Uh, we might as well turn on Uber Eats. We'll just get them all going. Let's just see what's happening all today. All right, got some Cadoba action for thirteen dollars and twenty something cents. I really need to start doing screenshots, I guess, so I can be like all them other fancy gig tubers. Uh. It's going 8.2 miles. Don't shoot the delivery man, but it's going over by another Walmart. And this Walmart, I'm not getting any spark orders for. So I thought maybe I'd head up that way. And just so happened, I get a Kenoba that's heading that way. So actually, it may work out. I guess we'll see. Hopefully, this order's ready. It just now came in. Unfortunately, it's not ready yet. Because those names are not it. Not all that busy though, so hopefully it won't take too long. I believe she is sacking it up. Thank you. What's that? The Coke is in there. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, I guess you knew I was fixing to ask about the drink because she pointed that out. He's going to get him some McDonald's. Poor thing. Well, I got me some McDonald's action and uh, for me. I went over and sat in the Walmart parking lot to eat. And uh, sat there about 20 minutes and nothing. So I'm going to move back over, I, I guess, and go so. by the car wash and give the car a bath. So stick around. Oh, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I've noticed that uh, I was looking into the analytics of the page or the channel, and it looks like 60%, I think it said, of the viewers are not subscribed. Why not? Doesn't hurt. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button wondered where Hearst got their cars washed I wonder if they hand washed them or if they come to the car wash apparently they come to the car wash even the fire department's here today you know I just thought about it how would a Hearst be for a share ride like Uber and Lyft wouldn't that be kind of weird they come to pick you up in a Hearst Especially if they said you had to ride in the back. Oh. What a joke. Yeah, so I had ordered me some of these earbuds, ear pods, whatever you want to call them. And... I've been trying them, but man, I tell you, I guess I got some funny shaped ears. These are made by uh, Tozu, T-O-Z-O. -O. They sound good, but uh, they just don't fit my ears good. They, they like fall out and they're not real heavy. I guess it's just my ears. I don't know. If y'all want to check these out, uh, I'll put a link down there in the description. They're good earbuds, but uh, they're not real loud. They got some decent bass in them. But I think I'm going to send them back and check out some different ones. Y'all have any recommendations? I'm not real sure. I've, my wife bought some of those, uh, the ONN from Walmart. I tried them, and they, they fit good. But I want something a little more crisper. Because a lot of times I just listen to the other gig tubers and uh, podcasting and etc. 
But sometimes I listen to music. We got a Grubhub. Let's see what we have here. Firehouse. Five point. Was it five? Yeah, 5.2 miles for $10.09. What do you say we go to the firehouse? We'll accept that offer. What time we got to be here? Because, you know, a lot of times Grubhub will send you something. And then, like in this case, it is 2.22. And it says pick up by 5.31. So they're giving you some time to get over there. So you don't have to just, like, fly over there. Anyhow... If y'all got any recommendations for AirPods or earbuds, whatever you want to call them, I want the wireless, of course. And I don't know about the ones that hook up over your ear. Several years ago, I had one of those, uh, the wireless uh, microphone for your phone, and it clipped on your ear. And I liked it. It did real good, especially out in the wind and stuff. Matter of fact, I still have that. But it kind of starts hurting your ear after you wear it for a little while. So I was hoping something like these would be good. But I need something light. Suggestions? Let me know. Like I said, if you're interested in these Tozo or Tuzo, I'll put a link down there. Like I said, they're good headphones or good uh, ear pods, but they just fall out of my ears. And I'm sure it's just me. Come into Rod Patrick Booth. So, let's head to the firehouse. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking, well, Grandpa, they got different little ear pieces that you put on there to make it fit better. I know. I, I tried like three different sizes. I just, they just don't stay good. So, I did think about that. All right, that wasn't too long of a wait. I hope today keeps going like that. Let's not jinx ourselves. I ain't gonna say a word. But, uh, yeah. Got order. Got order. And yes, I'm leaving. And now I'm heading that way. By the way, I got that while I was inside. I don't think so. All right, got some Sakura Sushi Korean Piano Bar action. It ain't sushi. It's going to be fried rice. Let's see where it's going. This one's on Bite Squad. I got a little message that said they're real busy, so I thought, yeah, I'll turn it on and see. Uh, we're going out to the base. It's only paying eight sixty-eight, and it's 11 miles out there. I really wish Bite Squad would show the mileage Although, I wouldn't have took that one. So, I mean, I can't really blame them. The thing is, with Bite Squad, the reason why you don't see me working it more is because with them, you can sign up and get a base pass. But I have a base pass, so... Um, and what it, it generally turns out to be is the majority of your orders are going to be going to the base because not everybody has the base pass. Which sometimes it works out because you'll get a stacked order with sometimes three, maybe four orders all going at the same time. Or, yeah, all at the same time going to the same place. Not from the same place, but going to the same place. And, you know, that can be 40, 50 bucks. It's happened a few times, but not lately. But I haven't been getting on it that much because, like I said, it's about 11 miles out there. Well, we'll check it just to be sure. Let's check our mileage right now. Oh, uh, man, that sun is bright. The last three numbers are 203. 203. Can we remember that? Can try. Anyhow, um... We'll see how far it is out there. But I think it's about 11 miles. So, and if you drive 11 miles out there and 11 miles back, that's 22 miles. Even if it's 10 miles, that's 20 miles for 868. Nothing wrong with highway miles as long as they make sense. And in this case, it really wouldn't make sense. 
but there's some restaurants out there plus that's getting over towards the other walmart and maybe we can pick up a walmart or over there we'll see remember 203 i'll check back in with y'all in a moment all right just dropped off that order and the mileage is now right the last three is 213 and it was 203 so it's 10 miles you know that's from where i picked it up to the drop off not to the main gate but to the drop off so 10 miles and if i was driving back to there another 10 miles that'd be 20 miles luckily about a mile that way there's another walmart we're going to kind of head that way and see if we get a spark order yeah, all right well on my way out of the base i get another bite squad order for nine dollars and 68 cents from the little hamburger joint over on the other end of the highway the other side of town really but it's a highway so it won't, won't take that long to get over there just as soon as i took that i did get a spark order for 19 dollars and it's going 3.2 miles it says extra large order but i accepted it because you can if you get there and the item is too big you can get them to take it off or to cancel that order and it won't go against you because it, the item's too big for your vehicle but i looked through the list on these and uh, it's showing a 13 gallon trash can so i guess they consider a kitchen trash can extra large unless i miss something We're supposed to start that trip at 345 and it is now 330 so i have to get over here get this hamburger or whatever it is and get it delivered and then i can start my trip to walmart I like days like this when it's just bam, bam, bam. I mean, it's not like killing you, but you don't have a lot of, I haven't had any time really. I don't think I've really stopped. Other than when I stopped to eat that uh, McNoble earlier. What was that, about 20 minute break? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's get her done. <laughs> By the way, I told my wife a joke. I don't, I don't think she got the humor in it, but I don't know. See what you think. You know the difference between a northern zoo and a southern zoo? Do you? The southern zoo not only comes with the description of the animal, it comes with a recipe right below it. <laughs> All right, got the double meat, double cheese, bacon, cheeseburger. Double meat, double bacon. It's called a Big Scotty. It's a big burger. Got it picked up along with a vanilla shake. Now I'm heading back to the base. Then I got to get over to the Walmart. Whew. Zero. What was that? Baroom? Isn't that what they say? Baroom. Can't go over a room too much because I have seen a couple of motorcycle cops out. Slide by quietly. Don't disturb. See, I shouldn't have took that order really because that's what I was telling you. I got back out here to the base and what was it? 13 miles will ago was the last, where was that? 213? It's at 233 now. So from here to across town to pick up an order, and I stayed on the east side of town, just straight down the highway and straight back, and now we're sitting at 233. So that's 20 miles for 10 bucks. Well, less than 10, right at 10, close. So if you're going to drive for Bite Squad and you have a situation like this where you have the base and stuff, consider your mileage. We got it going off again, but I'm heading to Walmart. Don't get caught using your phone either. Seven dollars and sixteen cents, and this is 
in the middle of town, so it wouldn't even be further. So I gotta decline that one. On these, you can kinda, ever, kinda tell, because it says uh, arrive or pick up at 418, and the delivery time is 438. So that's 20 minutes. So you can kind of calculate that that's going to be a pretty good drive. So most likely back out here to the base. I'm going to go ahead and stop bike squad and sign off because that's probably the kind of orders I'm going to be getting for the next little bit. Maybe after a while they'll start stacking them up. We can get two or three orders at once. But until then, it's not really worth it. So, and don't don't fear mileage because remember you get a little better gas mileage most people do out on the highway plus you get to take off those miles on your income tax so you know that's more miles that you got to deduct all right all right all right we made it to walmart only 30 minutes late but I don't know if it actually counts late on you, but either way, we're here. And we'll wait and see if they get it out here, if it'll fit in here. If, unless I saw something wrong. I mean, didn't see something. Uh, ballpark 10.8 gallon stainless steel oval kitchen garbage can. And another one. Oh, I was thinking it was 13 gallons. It's 10.5. All right, I think this is our water because he's carrying two trash cans. Let me get out so we can put it in the back seat. Nothing to it. See, they're not that big. Got to scan the label. And then we'll get on the road. I'll check out that house. Pretty nice, huh? Is that where we're going? Uh, no, that's 1601. We are looking for 1517. Oh, it's this one. Still a nice looking house, y'all. Got some little kitty cats out there. Swing this around. Nah, that little thing right there is in the way, isn't it? Oh well. Sorry, I was gonna show you some drop off action. Um, spark delivery at delivery location. No contact delivery works for me. Proceed with delivery. Hey, anytime y'all have these though. It's no contact, but it doesn't say anything about ringing the doorbell or not ringing the doorbell. So I generally will ring the doorbell, especially when you're talking groceries. And they got some groceries along with their trash cans. Let's get the trash cans up there first though. I don't know if y'all saw that bush move up there. I don't even know if you could see it. No, you couldn't see it. <laughs> They've got a little bush up there on the front porch. And there was a real kitty cat in that bush. That, I think I scared him about as much as he scared me. Did not see him laying up in that little bush. All right, let's uh, get to rolling. Here's that little bush. You can see it right there. Yeah, I was watching these little cats, but they wasn't moving too much. But the one that was in that little bush up there, he moved a lot. All these fall colors are really pretty. I have a friend who went over and did a little camping over in Arkansas. Man, it was pretty it's got a youtube channel uh lost on land again lola y'all uh, if y'all are like camping and stuff like that 
she uh, camps in a van got it set up pretty nice y'all uh, check her channel out if you're into camping and stuff like that I'll put a link down there in the description it's really pretty park though can't remember where she said that was at hey, do y'all ever have like a little cup holder like right here in the middle and got your hand up here and you acting like it's a gear shifter second and third and fourth fifth six <laughs> oh that's not that is when you know you're bored I've been going and going and going and man I ain't had anything in the last five minutes <laughs> lady back behind us is having a good conversation I don't know if y'all can see her or not she just she was just smiling and laughing a while ago she's looking down I guess she's texting somebody I don't know at least she's doing it in the light and not going down the road doing it it's nice to see people smile yeah, all right, I just pulled over. I'm gonna take a little break. I was gonna read the, check out the comments on the videos. And uh, I agree, uh, drone days, um, on yesterday's video, he made the comment, says, uh, I make most of my money from fast food. And that's true, that's what I was talking about in that video was, you know, you can spend 30 or 40 minutes waiting on a higher paying order at a higher end restaurant or you can run and get a mediocre paying short delivery for McDonald's or Taco Bell or whatever fast food and you can be in and out of there and back before you get that other one so in all reality I know a lot of people don't like doing fast food and, and I, I get it I understand but luckily in my market and apparently a uh, drone days market they're not uh, that slow with their restaurants and we're not talking about Wendy's either I don't consider Wendy's fast food ours is better than some of y'all from what I've heard but uh, no it's still not considered fast food but yeah don't be afraid to go to uh, fast food joints Especially now that the, the, the uh, lobbies are open in most all of them that I know of. So, definitely worth checking out. Appreciate the comment. Well, the battery on the GoPro went dead, so uh, I'm wrapping this up with uh, the phone. Wound up making 158.26, I believe it was. So, uh, not a bad day. <laughs> it was a good day, Tater. Hey, y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just keep doing something. You're going to grow old if you don't. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.